Hi there. Welcome to Crack Concepts. Today, we'll be learning how to build a donut chart in Tableau. Donut charts are pretty much an extension of pie charts. So, let's start by constructing a donut chart and at the end of the video, we'll compare the two and see which one suits better. So, in order to convert, uh, construct a donut chart, we'll first go here and double click on the lows option, type in min, tab 1 and press enter. Now, keep the control key pressed, drag and drop min once more. Now, you have two values available to you and you can change the requirements based on these uh, marks for option that you have. So, I'm going to change the first one into a pie chart. I'll give the color based on segment. I'll increase the size manually. I'll also change the view to entire view. Okay. And I'll give the label as sales. Let's click on the drop down arrow, quick table calculation, and percent of total. Then I'll give sum of sales over to the angle option. Now let's go ahead and change this, the other mark section. In this, I'm going to choose circle and I'm going to increase the size slightly. And first, let's add in the label that we want. We want total sum of sales to be depicted in the center. So let's change the alignment or click on label and alignment center and uh, vertical also center. Now we have what we need, and I'm going to change the color of this to white. Now we have done all the required changes. Now let's go ahead and right click and click on dual axis. And both of our uh, charts are now merged. So we have to hide these axes if they're not very informative. So let's right click again, show header, and there we have it. That's our donut chart. For the purpose of this video, I have also created a pie chart representing the same information. So let's go ahead and compare both of these side by side. If you observe the pie chart, your brain is comprehending it as holes. However, in the donut chart, your brain is measuring the length against each other. So when you have a lot of slices, right now it's just three slices, so either of the charts work fine. But if you have a number of slices, then the length aspect is easier to measure and perceive from a distance as compared to the area covered by the pie. So it's up to you which type of chart you want to choose. But if you have a lot of slices, it's generally recommended to go with the donut chart. That is it from our side. Thank you for watching Crack Concepts. If this video was helpful for you, please consider subscribing.